welcome back to CJ Explores. I'm Charlotte behind the cameras, Corey, and in this vlog, we're exploring the beautiful city of Lille. Ibis and that's located just a short walk from the train station and it seems that everything is fairly walkable so which is really nice we've just come from Paris and obviously you have to get a metro around everywhere it took us so long to go to all the locations but today we are going to walk from our hotel to Old Town Lille and it's supposed to be very beautiful and that's where all the major landmarks and attractions are in that area and yeah it's a beautiful day we thought let's walk should we go inside yeah why not absolutely beautiful it had like a gothic ceiling beautiful paintings in there and obviously in Europe you're just so spoilt for choice so many incredible buildings like the one behind me and you can just enter usually for free and they're just always just incredible architecture always outstanding and take your breath away We've made it to the town square now. This is called Grand Place. And around these are very tall buildings. It's very typical restaurants, outdoor seating, bistros and kind of restaurants and cafes and stuff. Very, very typical European looking, but beautiful buildings nonetheless. So even though this is a main kind of center hub of the city, it doesn't seem overcrowded or busy at all, which is lovely. I mean, it's a weekend, people are just relaxing. There's definitely like seats available at the restaurant. It's so refreshing after being in London and Paris before here, like, which is so busy. Uh, this is a lovely kind of uh, level of crowds that I like. And the buildings here are gorgeous. I keep just looking around and spotting all these different details or like these beautiful smaller buildings over there. Just constantly looking around in Europe, but everything is so beautiful. Lil is described as Paris's cooler, younger brother. It's um, very relaxed here. I think there's a lot of young people here. Maybe there's a university or something, but just the vibe here. When we arrived yesterday, we were sort of walking around and we got some food and um, it's just, it's so relaxed. People are really friendly. I guess people have more time. They're not so overwhelmed with tourists like Paris and London are, um, but still, it's a really beautiful place. This is Cathedral Notre Dame de la Trille. I don't know if my pronunciation was right, but there you go. We were expecting a much more traditional looking cathedral, but this is so modern and it looks so peculiar. Definitely something that catches your eye, but yeah, towards the back and rear of the building looks a bit more, you know, traditional European style. And this front part, I don't know, I need to find out the story of this, because why does it look like that? Like so different. Now, if you're thinking some of these red buildings look more familiar with what you'd see in Belgium, then you'd be correct because we are only just over 10 kilometers away from the Belgian border. And that is why some of these buildings resemble more of Belgium than they do France. All of these buildings are so unique and quirky, especially the rooftop. Like all of the rooftops look like, you know, when some people draw buildings and it's all a little bit wobbly, like when kids draw them, <laughs> they look like that. And they also remind me of like, Tim Burton style cartoons uh, it could be described as. Yeah, I love them. Very movie set, isn't it? Yeah, all of the houses are so higgledy piggledy. They're all different. They're all shapes and sizes and styles. Um, it's very interesting. I'd love to know more about how, how they were built and what centuries and all of that good stuff. Maybe we should have done a walking tour here as well. Well, there is not much happening in Lille today. It is very quiet, it's a Sunday. Um, I just, I don't know what people do on a Sunday in Lille, but everything's <laughs> shut. Um, 
we're just having a wander through the park. There seems to be a few people sort of like fishing along this little... No, they're not fishing. They're fishing. <laughs> they're fishing in the moat. Now this moat here surrounds a fortress from the 17th century, which we're gonna go and explore next. It looks awesome. It's one of those like five point star fortresses. Um, really cool because that um, the way they design it means that you can attack like it's so impenetrable. You can basically defend from these corner points people who are trying to get into the in corner points um, and it's really, really hard to siege a castle or a fortress like that. So that's what we're going to go and check out. Uh, there's some really nice gardens in there and they obviously have this moat which goes around which is really, really pretty. Very pretty and it's so peaceful here. It's lovely. Refreshments. How could we resist on a beautiful day like today? Mm. Got myself one of these fancy beers because we're so close to Belgium that do very good or they import very good beer here. And um, we're, yeah. This... Any excuse for him to have a beer, I think it is. I had to try it. <laughs> I had to try it. I've got an extra IPA and it's very uh, wheaty like a, a vice beer in Germany. Is that nice? Yeah. 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 And Charlotte's got sparkling water because she is... The Germans. <laughs> we had a little refreshing break and now we're continuing to the Citadel. There's actually multiple walks that you can do around the Citadel depending on what you want to see or what kind of like physical level you want to achieve. Uh, we just want a nice flat walk. <laughs> so we have found, I think it's around 2K and it goes around the outside of the citadel. We can't figure out if you go inside, which is what I was hoping for, but it looks like we're just venturing outside of it. But come on, let's go and have a look. It seems like this is a popular dog walking area, like a workout area for locals, isn't it? A lot of people jogging on their bikes, taking their dogs for a walk. Sunday afternoon, local activities. We're just joining in. <laughs> so we are inside the first wall now, the first um, kind of fortress wall. Uh, we've passed a little moat and there's another moat to our left so it seems like this place was really really well guarded and well fortified it would have been pretty much impossible to achieve a full siege of this place i think um, inside i'm not sure if we can get in there but from the sky it looks like there are some buildings in there there is a website which you can go on and you can sort of see the different paths that you can take so we just had a quick flick through and saw what paths we'd like to take but they also have a bit of information about each point so when you get to each point you can like push next on the tour and it'll tell you a bit of information about what you're seeing and what you're coming up to which is quite cool. I think it might be a grave site, 18 year old boy, not sure much about him, obviously the gravestone is in French but yeah just finding places to kind of visit on this little walk interesting we have really no idea what to expect so i just keep adventuring around very beautiful and peaceful it must be that time of year there's so many cute little water birds just little baby ones screeching around doing those little like contact calls to their parents and the parents are slowly fetching food for them and building their nests, it's really sweet. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> That's so adorable. What a cute little place. Okay, finding is all these little like walkways and there's so much to discover on this walk. I just found this beautiful weeping willow next to the water and it's open as a little path running through so I have to go. There's one of those stalks. Looking very elegant. Beautiful here, isn't it? Amazing little picnic spot.
Well, we were right, you cannot get into the middle. I think this is actually part of the defense department of um, France, the military. Uh, there is a sign over here which says rapid, rapid reaction core. Very, very cool name. <laughs> um, so yeah, they must be like the immediate response military department. How cool, uh, can't go in there though, so. And probably shouldn't fly the drone over either. <laughs> So just outside the Citadel, there is this little place here called the Oasis. It's next to this beautiful tree-lined promenade, which is right next to this little river. Uh, there's some boats on here as well. Looks like you can rent them out for the afternoon. Very cool. Electric boats. But yeah, what a lovely little spot. 20 euros for two tickets. So we came across this all vegan burger bar here in Lille. We got um, some like dirty fries, chili and cheese, and Corey has gone for a really, what is yours? Double Beyond. smack Beyond Meat vegan burger. Um, obviously we've been walking around like the main areas, but we couldn't find many plant-based options, obviously, but there actually is some food vegan cafes if that's something you're looking for. Uh, but a lot of them close after around 12, one, and they open again later. So we're in the middle of that. We found this place, a bit naughty, but it looks good. The taste of this burger is so good. You can tell that the ingredients are really fresh. The tomatoes are still like really crunchy and the lettuce is crunchy, but the cheese is spot on for cheese. It's all vegan stuff here. So whatever you choose, if you're vegan, um, you know it's good. And they've got a massive container of vegan A's over there as well, but they also have a lot of different burgers, specials and chips covered in drippings. We are about to visit the house of Charles de Gaulle, the former French president. This is where he was born. I think it was his grandmother's house. We tried to come yesterday, but it was fully booked, so we're trying again today. Trying to book tickets for this place is actually quite difficult. Um, we went online, but it's all in French, so we ended up asking our hotel receptionist, and he called up and booked for us, which was very nice. So we're here, and we're supposed to be like a museum inside. So let's go check it out. That was quite good. I enjoyed that. It was, uh, yeah, like a full reconstruction um, the way that Charles de Gaulle's house would have been um, as he was growing up. He was a former French, French president um, and it was quite interesting learning about his family history and everything, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't really know anything about Charles de Gaulle. Yeah. Um, it's a really beautiful house and he said that wasn't a obscenely wealthy house. It was just typical of the, was like upper middle class? Yeah, middle because class. Because they just um, took a lot more pride, I think, didn't they? But it's beautiful. Yeah, it was really nice in there. That attraction uh, was only recently done, actually. I think it was between 2018 and 2020. So it's quite new and well, uh, something to do here. But yeah, definitely recommend. The audio guide was very thorough. Uh, it took a long time to get through some of the rooms because I was listening to every <laughs> little um, bit of information. But they have an English audio guide if, if you're an English speaker. But yeah, very cool. Recommend. So much to do in Lille. It does feel like during the day for a few hours, everything sort of just shuts down here in Lille. It just feels so quiet, kind of like a uh, Spanish siesta. It's dead quiet, isn't it? It's really quiet, unless, unless you're in like, the very main town, like Grand Palace Centre. Yeah. Everywhere else, it's like, yeah, everyone's like, windows closed. And it's, um, feels like a proper Sunday morning, everyone's at church feeling, but it's not a Sunday today. We're just having a little cool down. Um, we were walking around, got a little warm, but this spot is opposite Notre Dame, and honestly, we just keep looking at this building. It's so peculiar. It looks like scaffolding, but it's not, it's not scaffolding. It's just part of the, uh, the front. Yeah, this building is just the one that's really stood out for me in our time here, Lil. It's just so different. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what we were doing. We were just sort of <laughs> wandering around and uh, stumbled into a little bar, cafe, um, doing what the locals do, apparently, and just chilling out, having a nice cold one. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we've got a good view of this massive 
unique cathedral. <laughs> Well, that is it for our adventures in Lille. We've had a lovely time. It's such a nice city. It's so relaxed. We've really enjoyed it. So if you've liked this video, please like and subscribe. And you can also become members on this channel. Click the join button next to the subscribe one. We'll really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Yeah.